appreciate the Jensen's for opening up their home um, to help support Rusty Bowers. And some of you may not know Rusty as well as I've come to know Rusty over the last decade or so. Uh, so let me just say a few brief words and then we will sing a serious number. Yeah. <laughs> um, when I first got elected to the State Senate uh, in 98 or 9 or whenever that was, Rusty was already there. He had been in the House for many years. He had been the Appropriations Chair, I think, in the Senate just a year or two before that. And then when I got there, he became the Majority Leader. So he was the one that uh, I kind of watched as the leader of the Republican Caucus. And I had heard good things about Rusty. Uh, but I got to watch up close, and I just want to tell you that there are few, if any, people in the years that I have been involved in public service that I admire as much as Rusty Bowers. And, and I uh, came to really admire the way that he works through issues, deals with people. Uh, one of the things in particular is that if he was working on an issue related to wildlife management, or the environment, he'd get the people together <laughs> that really had a stake in that area instead of getting all the people on the outside who wanted to tell the people <laughs> in that uh, area how to do what they do on a daily basis. So, if, you know, uh, he has a real knack and a real respect for bringing people together. And if he wanted to work on, uh, you know, dust control in the city, of, you know, in Arizona, he'd get the people together that are involved in companies that deal with dust and stir it up and have dirt and move it around and, and he was and he'd also had the other people at the table who wanted their two cents to be considered and and he was one of a few who could bring people on both sides of an issue together and show enough respect to all sides involved that they could usually come out with a piece of legislation that everybody felt good about and participated in that's not what is happening in Washington DC but that is what needs to happen more in Washington, D.C. But Rusty's the kind of person who can go back there and stand up for, I believe, the principles and the lifestyle that we all believe in, uh, at the same time respecting uh, opinions from other side, so that no matter who's in charge, the things that are being done back there are for the betterment of the, of the American people. So let me just say, now, he's actually smarter than he looks. Um, <laughs> 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 and, uh, no, I'm, um, and I did have hair. <laughs> in fact, um, I, was, I was at his house a uh, couple of weeks ago and saw his engagement picture, I think, with Donetta. And um, he, had, he had a head of hair. I mean, it, it was unbelievable. Look at this. It was just, red, oh man, it makes this red stuff like. Oh, it was just everywhere. Um, but anyway, I really respect, respect Rusty. Um, I hope that you'll consider helping him out uh, for Congress. We, we cannot continue in this country to have a president and congressmen and women from this state running around apologizing to people all over this country and around this world for being American. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just galls me, and I hope it galls all of you, to watch our congresswoman stand and applaud the president of Mexico uh, standing on the floors of Congress, denigrating Arizona for basically standing up and saying that if the federal government's not going to enforce the border and enforce our uh, immigration laws in this country, then we're going to do it here, and we're going to help. And so it's just amazing what's happening. We cannot afford uh, for this to go on too much longer or we're just going to get sucked into a, uh, a train that has left the station and we're not going to be able to turn it around. I think that the, uh, we can all give $2,400 uh, per person is the max that can be contributed. Uh, I know that's tough in today's uh, economy, but uh, whatever you can do, uh, it's very much appreciated. I think they've got a, an ad that they're trying to get uh, some TV time for, so if you want to donate directly or provide airtime or whatever you can do to help Rusty Bowers uh, represent us in Congress, we will be better and America will be better and Arizona and the 1st Congressional District will be better because of Rusty Bowers in Congress. So anything you can do to help this man, I'd appreciate it and I hope you all do too.
Whenever we get together, we try to go back and, and do some of our songs uh, that we used to do. Uh, this is to the tune of Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up To Be Cowboys. <laughs> Cowboys are getting together and eating some beef. Can't afford to do it too often except for relief. Beef prices been falling, their spouses are calling, their voices they sound quite alarmed. Been reduced to start picking through the freezer for a chicken, you might just work for foster farms. Steve Blair, Todd Geiler, and Tiny, they all like to hunt. They wanted to bring home a trophy, but ripped them a runt. Using tie wires, screw guns, tail handlers, and glue guns, created some trophies for sale. Except for one reason, if it wasn't an elk season, they ended up landing in jail. <laughs> Tiny's been studying genetics, expanding his mind. He's done invented a cow that's one of a kind. Makes the Sierra Club shudder, squirts oil from its udder, and diesel that comes out refined. Got a methane extractor to help drive the tractor, and asphalt comes out the behind. <laughs> mess. Frustration reduction will be done by the IRS. Mm -hmm. At the mines are screamer, at the money they're printing, inflation will be such a sin. But the tax form's much shorter, the cash don't report her, just make it and send it all in. <laughs> Mamas, make sure your babies grow up as Republicans. Don't let them believe those discouraging words. Maybe they will be computerized nerds. <laughs> Mamas, make sure their babies grow up as Republicans. Just help them keep going. Though the economy's slowing, Kirkpatrick comes back to the farm. Yes, Kirkpatrick comes back to the farm.